everybody, Kimberly Olson here, the Gold Digger Girl, and we are in for a treat tonight because I get to interview Beth Dorset, who is a freaking Instagram rock star, and she is gonna share all her secrets with you guys tonight. So I am gonna give her a second to hop on here, and we will start rocking and rolling. So if you guys are watching this live, go ahead and put a one in the comments. Let me see my live viewers. If you are watching the replay, put two. If you're new and you've never seen one of my videos before, go ahead and put new in the comments. And if you are going to share this video, which I want you to share this with everybody you know that's on social media, okay? Go ahead and share it, put share it in the comments, and I also want you to tag your team members. Tag, tag, tag them, tag them because they're gonna see the notification if you tag them. That's super, super important. So I'm gonna see if I can get to it. Beth, if you're on here, comment in the comments. Put a comment, comment in the comments. Oh, there she is, yay. Okay, it's happening. Done to the now, so excited. I'm gonna quick try to share this. Hi, hi, hi. yay, hey. there you are, it worked. I was having I figured it out. <laughs> Good, and this is your first time, right? Yes. I'm so proud of you. You guys give her some hearts and thumbs up because if you've never gone live before, it's a thing, right? So let's yeah. give her some love. I'm going to share this real quick on my page. So I'm so glad you made it on. That's awesome. Thanks okay. For well, me. I will just, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see real quick here. Okay. So you guys go ahead. There it is. Okay. Go ahead and share this with your people and put shared in the comments and also go ahead and put a question for Beth. She's going to give us her three tips and we're, I'm going to ask her some stuff too. Um, but go ahead and think of a question for Beth. I want to know, what do you guys want to know about Instagram? We have all kinds of ideas for you, <laughs> but I want to see what you guys want. So let me just share this real quick. And that way people who are on the business page can get notified. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. Awesome. All right. So, girlfriend, yes. why don't you – thank you for being here, by the way. Thank you. And, yeah. And so, for those that don't know, um, Beth and I were in a group together. So, she's in one of my groups. And over time, I got to know her and some other people in her team were in the same company. What's really cool about um, network marketing, direct sales, and also, oh, hashtags, we're asking about hashtags. What's really cool is that she's one of my side sisters, sideline sisters. So we're not even on the same downline, but we support each other in every way that we can, which I just think is that's awesome. Nice. And I'm so yeah. thankful that you took the time. So that's how I found her. And somehow I stumbled upon your Instagram account and I was like, wow, this girl, <laughs> she's got it going on. <laughs> so you're doing a great job. And so I thought it would be really neat if you could share with people a little bit about leading up to what you've created now, because you have over like 85,000 followers. You guys, I didn't just say that to be fancy, like it's real. <laughs> um, why don't you share a little bit about how you got to that point with your Instagram? Yeah, so first of all, I just want to thank you for inviting me on, because this is a big deal. You are amazing. I've learned a lot from you in a little amount of time that I've thank been you. with you. So um, for Instagram, so I've been on Instagram for about five to six years. Um, and I started using Instagram mainly for my daughter. Um, you know, obviously it started as a family account and then it became Jordan, my daughter's account. So I realized quickly that people love babies, obviously. And I, started, <laughs> I started posting pictures um, of her and videos of her. And the main way that I got followers was tagging big accounts in my, um, in my pictures. So for example, you know, there's a big account, baby account called Just Baby. It's got about 3 million followers. Um, so if you tag big accounts, so for example, Monet, if you're tagging Monet, um, mm. you can go find big hair accounts if you're doing hair tutorials. And maybe they'll use your picture, for example. That's one way. Um, but another way I got followers was doing giveaways. There's a lot really? of There's a lot of giveaway accounts out there that you can... Um, that you can buy into maybe once a month, or if you have high followers, they basically ask you to join. Um, mm -hmm. But maybe once a month, do that. Um, but what, that's basically one of my tips. Um, you have to have a following. You know, mm -hmm. if you have a business, you have to have a following. If you post 
something on your Instagram account, if you have a hundred followers, it's not going to go anywhere, you know? Yeah. And so you, one of the goals that you should be doing daily is to, you know, go follow 50 to a hundred accounts, you know, grow your following. I just love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're not going to get everyone to follow you back, but you know, some will. And and maybe like 20 or 30%. But if you do it daily, you'll see the outcome later. Yes. So. And I think sometimes too, I think people don't realize just like Facebook, you have to work at it. You know, I think of it as like farming. <laughs> so you know, when you see people like for you, like you've been working at it for years. So nice. if you guys watching, once you get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, it's magic. Um, that's actually my goal right now. Um, I'm at, I don't know where I'm at, but I'm not at 10,000 yet. And what's really cool is when you get to 10,000, when you post, you guys listen to this, this is awesome because she can do this. When you post in Facebook stories, you can put a link in there. Can yeah. you imagine if you said, okay guys, I'm going live tonight. Or like you said, I'm going to do a giveaway. Click here to go to my page and enter the giveaway. Cause yes. on Facebook stories, Instagram stories, I'm sorry. You're kind of limited in the interaction, right? right. Well, imagine if you could build your account to over 10,000 and, and do what she said, what it's going to do for your business. That's huge. So like you said about every day, you've got to be on there reaching out to people and friending them. I love that. So how do you find people? Do you try to find other moms? What do you suggest people do for finding people to follow? Um, it's for me, what I do since I have my, my accounts, basically family and business right now. Um, so what I do is try to find, um, you know, mothers or I try to find beauty, um, blog accounts, you know, people that mm -hmm. like beauty products, you know, go follow them, see if they'll follow you back, see if they like what you have and follow you. Um, so that's one of the things I do. Um, and then also for followers, hashtags, Hashtags is a yes. big deal on Instagram. People go on Instagram and Google hashtags, you know, mm -hmm. say beautiful hair. You know, if you post that in your picture, they'll go search for that and maybe go like all of your pictures or go follow you because you, have, you put the hashtag beautiful hair, you know. So yes. you use a lot of hashtags, like especially if you're like first starting out. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a big way to get followers. Um, follow accounts, I already mentioned that, and then giveaways. So... That's awesome. Yeah. So for the giveaways, um, when do you, so to start out with giveaways, would you just recommend that people start, like if they have like a book to raffle off or just something that they already have, is that kind of how you started? Yes. Um, so for example, like free samples, um, you can do free samples once a month if you, if you have it. A book is a great idea. Um, something that's not obviously very expensive for you to do, but people mm -hmm. are interested in getting. So for giveaways, like I posted recently for my samples for a free product, you want samples, but you have to post rules in the giveaway. So make okay. sure they follow you, make sure they like your pictures because that drives up the, the algorithm for your pictures. Yeah. Um, and make sure they comment on your picture, like explain why they like, or explain why they want what you're offering. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. So um, with the, the giveaways, as far as the interaction, how is it different? How, what have you noticed is different with Facebook versus Instagram? Like, are, is it, is it, are you, have you been able to make it interactive for the giveaways? Yeah. And just in general with interaction. Um, well, honestly, I'm not Facebook savvy, so I can't really mm -hmm. talk as far as the, the <laughs> Facebook side. Um, but giveaways, yes. I mean, especially once you are able to get more accounts involved in the giveaways, um, you can have a really big impact and people start following you. Um, but another thing I'm just going to say about um, giveaways, ex don't expect everyone to stay following you. They're going to be unfollows. So okay. that's one of the big things I learned and it bothered me a lot getting started. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to happen and it doesn't bother me anymore because if they unfollow you, fine. They don't want you. They don't want what you have. Right. So. Right. It's, it's fine. But um, the people that do like what you're offering, and they like your product, they like your posting, um, they'll stay. So. Yeah, don't take it personally, basically. No, yeah. For sure. Okay. Same, same. Yeah. And you're right. I mean, there's differences between Facebook and Instagram. That's a good point, too. One of the things that she's done really well, you guys, is focused on Instagram. So if right now 
you are, you notice you're drawn to Instagram and maybe you're not having the success on Facebook that you, I love Facebook. Obviously I'm on Facebook a lot, but some people connect with Instagram. Instagram tends to have a younger demographic. So depending on how old you are or who your target market is, you might actually do better on Instagram. So what I've always believed in find one platform and master it, and then you can build. But for me, if you're gonna build on Facebook, you guys, these tips she's telling you don't take a lot of time. And the really cool thing is, you can repurpose your content you're using on Facebook. So let's say you post a picture of Easter just now with your family. Yeah. Well, you could put that in your Instagram stories, or maybe there's a great quote you love, and you could reuse that in a little bit on Instagram. You, you probably will have some crossover, but for the most part, Instagram people usually hang on to Instagram and Facebook people hang out on Facebook. So yes. you could actually like just real quick, be intentional, get on Instagram, get in, get out and, and move on. Yes. Yeah. So now, often, oh, go ahead. I duplicate a lot between my Facebook page and Instagram. Yeah. Because I, I know between the two, there's the following isn't the same. So. Yeah. Okay. So it is different. That's yeah. what I feel like, but I'm not, you know, I'm not as an expert like you are. Yeah. So with, I've heard different things, so I want to hear your take on it because obviously you've done something right. <laughs> I mean, come on, girlfriend. <laughs> so with, I've heard people saying you have to post quite a bit each day and you have to just really just do it every single day. How often do you post or what has you, what have you found to be most effective, especially maybe when people are building up that first 10,000 yeah. followers, how often were you posting? Do you remember? Um, I say the minimum post two times a day. Um, okay. I try to post morning, middle of the day, and after like six o'clock, you know, mm -hmm. so at least three times a day, I try to post. Um, I did learn recently that Instagram, people only see 8% of their followers. They only see what? <laughs> people only see 8% of who they're following. So you have to make sure, that's where I was going to go next. You have to make sure what you're posting is like you can't just post to post you have to be creative and you have to post something that people are gonna type the like button you know yes. and like the picture because if they like the picture then they're gonna continue to see your pictures and your post mm -hmm. so it's a big thing for them to like it because they're gonna continue to see it so yeah eight percent is not very big so no, if you're not getting not. if you're not getting much activity that that's why so that's really good to know you guys. And it's sort of like Facebook with the algorithm, but also engagement. Um, oh, somebody, if, there's a couple questions for you too. I'll write them down. Okay. Um, so, it, cause you can't see the comments. Can you? I can, I'm trying not to. Hey mom. Okay. Do you know, don't look. I will look. I've got it. I got a little notepad here. So you stay focused. <laughs> so, um, no, that's a really good point. Okay. So, um, post a couple times a day, pay attention to your post. What's getting engagement. Cause I feel like your descriptions are freaking awesome. Like you're so good at explaining why you posted it and kind of just pulling at people's heartstrings and right. making the connection with people. Like, I think you, you are very intentional with what you're posting and it shows. So that's, well, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So how, um, okay. Somebody made a comment that you can automatically post from Instagram to Facebook, which is true. Yes. So there is personal and there's business profile. So if you have a business profile and you do it, it'll automatically post to your business page on Facebook. If I'm believe. Right. right. You can, once you hit the share button, you have your accounts that you can share it to and you can click swipe the Facebook and it'll share it to your Facebook account. Okay. It's pretty so easy. yeah. And I see people do it and it doesn't look repetitive because like you said, usually people are just on Instagram or they're just on Facebook. Right. So you guys can do that to make it super simple is maybe a start on Instagram. So you say you have like a great selfie or a great quote or whatever, you can share it and have it post on your Facebook. So bam, you've reached both audiences, but you're doubling up, you're not doubling up your efforts. So you're being really efficient. And that would be a really cool way to see where you naturally gravitate because you, I mean, you definitely are, you're, and some people think, I think that they think Instagram isn't real as far as building a business. How has it impacted your business? Um, it's, well, honestly, my business is very new to me, um, but it's mm -hmm. been great the first, um, eight, six, eight weeks I've been doing it. So, um, I've had the highest volume in my, my group. So that's been great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, but, um, yeah, it's just, you know, following up, like you say all the time, follow up, follow up, mm -hmm. follow up on all these people. So, um, I wouldn't 
didn't have that though, if I didn't have the following. So you definitely have to get the following. Um, yes. Get out there and follow people every single day, you know. And I think um, Instagram does have a limit. They do. I think, is it 100? Yeah, so safely, I would follow no more than 60 at a time. I think I read somewhere 120, 180. What they'll do, I've actually t played around with it, um, and I didn't get in jail, but I had to prove it was, you know, it was a whole yeah. process. Instagram so jail. You don't want to get in, yeah, Instagram jail. You don't want to go there. Um, it's not like orange is the new black. You don't want to go there. But um, the Instagram, what they did is they said, hold on. There was like a flag. It said, you are slow down. You're adding too many people. So I think I pushed it to maybe 80 or 100 to see. So I will do no more than 60 at a time when I was building before in the past. And um, I've seen people say over 100 because they, they want to basically make sure you're not using robots, right? right. Bots. Yes. They want it to be you genuinely looking for people. So if you really are looking and you're like, oh, that person looks good, you know, look at their profile real quick before you follow them. Um, you can kind of tell by that little picture. Right. And if you're genuinely doing it, you're probably not going to get flagged. But if you're like, bim, 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 like, 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 the follow. Yep. Yeah. And there's also yeah. apps too out there that can help you know, like who's following you, who's not, if you want to kind of dig into it and sort of streamline it. But yeah, I think you're right. As far as go on there every day, a couple, few times a day, maybe every time you post, you could reach out and follow some people right. and don't lead with your business. Like she said, if you are just starting out, you want to think what would, what would interest people to come look at my post? So Beth, what are some of the kind of posts that you do? Cause I know you just changed the name. What is it now? Yeah. Your... Um, it's my modern tribe, my modern tribe. Okay. Yeah. If you guys want to check it out. Yeah. So, okay. So one thing I was going to do is look at your, um, squares. So if you're on your profile, you're going to see all of your okay. squares and pictures, look at them and ask yourself if they are flowing. Like, do they flow together? Do they have, you know, do, do you have a theme or, you know, it could be the same filter on everything or it could be the same, you know, you have a color theme. Um, one of the good things, one good app to use is, I call it Visco, but it's B-S-C-O. Um, so they have a lot of filters you can use and a lot of, I think they're called presets. Um, but if you Google this Visco um, presets in Pinterest, you can uh -huh. go and look at what kind of filters you like and go play yeah. with the filters in Visco for your own pictures. So I it gives you it. like the exposure, <laughs> the contrast, everything you can set. And if you do that to all of your pictures, it makes it consistent looking. So that's one thing. That you can do. Yeah. Awesome. Another thing that's to really use is um, there are planning um, Instagram apps so you can go put all of your pictures and these apps before you even post to see what they'll look like. So wow. it's, yeah, it's really good. Um, it's called, there's one called Unum, U-N-U-M. Um, it's, that one's free. And there's another okay. one called Preview. Okay. And that one's awesome. That's, I use that one, but it's, yeah, it makes you see everything up front before you post it. And it's great. So you definitely yeah, want... Oh, go ahead. You definitely want your pictures all to be, yeah, it's this VSCO. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Cause sometimes I'll, um, I'll pop on there for something and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's too many, uh, like I'll have too many quotes. You know what I mean? It'll look a little busy. Yeah. So I'll just quick archive some, you know, if I'm like, right. Eh. Um, but if I had that app, I think that would help me be more mindful about yeah. it to make sure it looks appealing. Right. Cause yeah. that's, what's really interesting. You guys, when you go to follow someone, they're going to yeah. quick pull yours up and they're going to look at the grid. Yes. They're going to quick the grid and make a decision in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you have to have awesome pictures. You can't just post something. And um, one of the things I was going to say is if you have to post a cell, post it, but archive it, delete it after it's gone. You know, don't keep it up on your, your, um, that. your squares because it makes yep. it inconsistent. So. That's awesome. You guys write that down. Um, that's a really good thing to do, even on your personal page on Facebook too. Um, mm -hmm. And you know what happens sometimes is if people are looking through and they see it, they're going to think it's active, that sale. And so if they reach out to you about it and it's not right. active anymore, you can also kind of leave a bad taste in their mouth. But it just, you don't want it to be salesy, right? You right. want it to be where people don't yeah. feel sold. Um, they want it to, to be a natural transaction for sure. Right. If you have to post it, post it, but delete it after it's gone. <laughs> Okay, good. Awesome.
So some people are asking for business versus personal. Should they have a personal profile picture or a business profile picture? And then also should they, for their company, do you recommend that they have a personal account and a business account? How, what do you recommend? Um, I would recommend a business account. And you mean as far as like the business set up on the back end for Instagram or like business page, what you're posting. business? What you're posting. Yeah. yeah. So I definitely, I would think business page. Um, okay. I think that would be best. Mine's kind of both right now just because that's what I had before. I had a personal account and I'm trying to make it work for both right now. Um, but I think that, you know, people might be confused, especially if you're first starting out first starting out, mm -hmm. um, they're going to be confused on why you have both personal and business. You want to be able to go to their account and see exactly what, what they have, you know, so mm -hmm. if you have both personal and business, they, it might be kind of confusing. Okay. And if you are doing it kind of how she did where you're, you've built it with, well, it was already built, but you started with your company recently. Uh, mixing in the personal and the business also think of ways to naturally do that like you said hair tips is your company your product is hair right. so that that was great advice because it's not oh buy my stuff and look at my you know it's oh here's some hair tips or you know for babies like that when I when they were little and they still are people love when I would share like this supplement or yeah. uh, I use this essential oil for this cold they have right it's just a natural way to share what's working for you personally right but it, it's still business but I like how you've just sort of worked it in naturally that's awesome yeah, yeah. I'm trying <laughs> thank you yeah <laughs> work in progress right <laughs> that's awesome so to wrap up um can you touch on the Instagram stories how do you use them and what do you think about them um Instagram stories you know that's a good way to post sales if you don't want to post it on your account, post to sell up in your stories. Um, another way to do it is if you have, like I do a lot of testimonies in there. If I don't want to blow up my feed on testimonies and stuff, I get a lot of people asking questions from my stories about the testimonies and what I'm using, you know, what the product is. So um, maybe just quick things, what you're doing daily for your stories. Um, you know, a little little story thing about how busy you are with your laptop, you know, little things that could be good, you know, mm -hmm. that you don't really want to post on your, your big page. So kind of like the sneak peek yeah. like behind the scenes sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. That'd be fun too. Like with the raffles you're doing and things like that, you know, right. sort of building up to it and all of that. And if you guys are just hopping on, make sure you watch the beginning. She gave some really good tips on when you're first starting out, how to um, kind of piggyback off of other really big brands out there, big, uh, big accounts out there, how you can use them to help get yourself some more exposure and brands just in my experience. Um, cause I, I had a platform called fit camp for a long time and brands love it when you tag their stuff because yes. they want real people using their stuff and they're very loyal to, they're basically called ambassadors or influencers. They love it. So even if you're new, but you can find something that you're passionate about that you could show um, like a quick, you know, selfie with it or whatever and tag them in it, you would be surprised at the, you know, they're going to share that to their followers and yes. maybe send you some stuff to promote in the future. And before you know it, people are reaching out to you and right. you start to develop a name for yourself. And just remember, it has to be an awesome picture for them to share it. So yes, <laughs> yes. Use those filters. She was yes. Talking about. And also, too, someone, I heard a really good tip from this podcast called Gold Digger, actually, which is funny because um, that's what my business platform is. Anyways, it's called, I think, Gold Digger Podcast. But she said, don't get so hung up on Instagram being instant because that's what it's supposed to be. But she said, take the time to use the filter, get right. a few photos and pick one. If you're with your friend having lunch, have fun with your, your – have fun and have lunch with your friend and go post your picture later. So right. take the time. It sounds like you're saying, just make sure your pictures look great. Yeah. Just go back and look at your squares all together and make sure they're consistent. If not start working on it because they're mm -hmm. going to go to your biography, but your little bio and they got all those squares. And if they don't like what you have right at that glimpse, they're not going to follow you. So yeah. <laughs> it's true. You have just that one second, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. This thank was so you. helpful. And I'm so proud of what you've done. It's an inspiration to show 
us normal people that anything's possible <laughs> if you're consistent, right? If you're consistent and you just share a little bit about yourself and, and, and are vulnerable with people that they really respond. So you guys go check out her page and follow her so you guys can see what she's posting because it's awesome. So Thank great you. job, Beth. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Give her some hearts for her first Facebook Live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. And you did awesome. So thank, thank you. you guys. Say goodbye to her. I'm going to give you guys a few uh, housekeeping things. So have a good night, Beth. Thank Bye. You. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. I thought my stand was just going to tip over. I just ordered a new one. Thank goodness. So you guys, how awesome is that? Like, I'm so honored that she took the time to do that. Marcy, actually. Marcy was on here. Thank you, Marcy, for introducing me to her because she's amazing. So a couple of housekeeping things, you guys. Uh, let's see. Leadership workshop is this Saturday, and I'm going to close it out. Okay, today's Tuesday. I'll probably close it out Thursday. So if you guys want to get in, put leadership workshop in the comments. It is recorded. It's April 7th, Saturday at 9.30 a.m. Central Time, 10.30 a.m. Eastern. It's recorded, and what it is, you'll get, be put in my private Facebook group for leadership. And most of you watching this are accident, accidental leaders, and you don't know how to lead other people. <laughs> So you gotta learn how. And so I'm gonna teach you guys everything I know. I've been in leadership development for 20 years. So I'm gonna teach you everything I know, but leadership workshops in the comments. And also my boot camp is opening back up. So I don't know, I didn't see too many of my boot campers on there, but if you are, put a, uh, if you're one of my boot campers, put boot camper in the comments and tell everybody what you think about it. So if you guys wanna get on my wait list for the boot camp, it's basically a crash course in how to make your business explode on social media and I'm gonna teach you everything I've learned and it's very concise, step one, step two. You can ask my boot campers. It's very organized, it's intentional and it's to get you up and running freaking quick. So if you wanna get my boot camp, put boot camp in the comments. I'll get you on my wait list and then when it opens up end of April and I'll start taking registration for May, I'll notify you. So that's what I have for you guys. Have a great night. And thanks to you, Stacey, for saying that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.